everybody. What is up? It's Steeler Stacker here. And guess what time it is today? It is Stacker Box time. That's what that is right there. That is the Stacker Box. It has made it to my house. Yes, it's here, guys. It's here. It's not going to be here long. Tomorrow, it's going out to our friend Scrapping, Hoarding, Tinkering Fun right here. He's getting it next. So, what's the Stacker Box, right? It's a box that it's going around to all of us stackers. And I'm putting their stickers out here. Check it out. Check it out. It's going out to all of us stackers right here. And we are all adding something to the box. And we have a chance to take something out if we want to. But you don't have to. But if you want to, go ahead. So I saw this fractional little um, ASE. Just a half ouncer. I only have one other half ounce piece in my collection of silver. So I decided to. Take that. I wasn't going to take anything, but I don't have it, so what the heck? Why not? I've never seen them before either. Oh, the reason why I, I keyed on it, because it doesn't have the mint thing on the back. Look, it looks like a real one. It, it is actually pretty dang sweet. So, it didn't have all the mint stuff on the back, like, say, Golden State Man or wherever it would, would have been made at. So, just being it was like that, I'm like, cool. It says steel all over it. It is now in my collection. And what I'm adding to it, so we'll start it off the top right here. A gold back in the acrylic holder. I'm going to leave it in this holder because I think this is a great way to display them. Um, so I'm sending it in the box. One Utah, or yep, the Utah, nope, it's a Nevada gold back. And I'm going to stand, the little stand will be in there with it. So you can get it to your house. You can display it. Boom, there you go. Display your little gold back you got. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm putting in a copper zombuck. Oh, yeah. These are cool. Love them, love them, love them. Wish I had the whole collection of them, but I only got two different kinds. And I'm sending one of these so that one of you may end up taking this home with you. Bam. Let's get to this bad boy real quick. And, oh yeah, check that out. A 2013 beautiful ASC. There is nothing wrong with this thing. In the airtight. Just perfect. Just like the little one. See, I was just showing you the little one. Never seen another one like this little one that has the back like that. But look, bing, bang, boom. I love it. I love this little thing. Sorry. It is staying at Steeler Stacker's house. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there are two things. That's three things. And then well, let's just clear off top of this box. I'm also adding little one-tenth New Guinea in the little airtight too with the queen on the back. These are uncirculated BU. That's silver there, one-tenth. Um, how about a walker? Everybody loves a walker, right? 1943 walker. It's a nice one. Definitely a nice walker. Not in the best of shape. Definitely ain't in the worst of shape, though. It's definitely a pretty walker. And how about a quarter ounce Merc? Yep, copper Merc. Beautiful back on it. I love these. These are so cool. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. I just sent one of these to a community member. Doesn't even know it's coming yet, but she will when she opens it. Um, just a random act of kindness I decided to do. 1967, 40% Kennedy. Yep, 40%er. Some more silver with a little bit of that crazy goldish color toning. Right there, you can kind of see it. Right, you know, these get a weird tone to them. Other than, than the regular. And... Boom, here we go. V-nickel. Great V-nickel here. If you don't have one of these, that's in there. That's old. They're pretty old. It's a 1906 V-nickel. That's one. Oh, yeah. And we're going to add another very cool V-nickel with still some great detail left in it. And on it, I mean. Terrible at flipping coins, I am. And it's a 1907 so 1906, 1907 V-nickel. Oh, still in this. Well, they're not silver, the V-nickels, but they're old. Here we go. Mercury Dime. Bam. Adding a Merc to the pile. Oh, here we go. Looks like a one of them super beautiful uh, rose, or, yeah, roses I picked up recently that are amazingly beautiful. Like, I could not believe it. They come fresh out of a roll, I guess. This one has a little bit of tonage on it. It might have been one of the Enders. And then just a regular rosy. This is not one of the Super BU ones, but here we go. Another rosy. Gotta love that. And this beautiful, this thing doesn't have a nick, lick, stick, nothing on it. It is amazing. 
everything's with it. What year is it? 1996. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Proof sets are awesome. Look at the shine to them. You got some little bit of tonage going on. The shining is, is amazing. These are beautiful specimens of American coinage. Yes, I said American coinage. But it comes with all the everything you need for it. Here's your certificate of authenticity. It's all there. Everything is with it. Beautiful shape. Not a dent. Nothing wrong with it. So somebody is going to get lucky and get a hold of that, which is cool. Um... Then we got some other cool stuff I'm going to do. Something a little different I decided to add to it because I like to collect it. And who knows? And I just found out tonight that somebody else in the community is just like me, is a currency collector. So, first off, we are going to add this whole set. And I don't even know where they're from myself because I can't read the writing. But this is the complete set of wherever these are from. And they are beautiful. There's the 5. There's the 50. There's the 200. There's the 500. There's the 5,000. There's another 200. And there is the 500 again. Another 500. And a 5,000. See, that's one side. Then you got the back sides. Look at the, this. The, they're, like, they're like works of art. And these are mint state condition there is not a fold crease nothing wrong with these at all look at that beautiful bridge on the back of that one then that one 200 just had a 200 on the back the 500 has this beautiful pagoda on it looks like i don't know it's massive it's probably a, a tiny mansion and there's a 500 with a 500 on the back another 200 with a 200 on the back there's a 50 with some kind of monument right there pretty cool and then the five has another one of them like pagoda type buildings. But these are beautiful specimens of money. They are so cool. And that's going in there. And there's more. Let's get in there and get in there and get into there, right? So let's open this up. We'll show you what we got here. We're saving them for last because them are, I think them are amazing. So here we got uh, from Peru. There's money from Peru we're going to put in there. Beautiful specimen. Nothing wrong with that. Not a scratch on it. Then we got a Brazilian one. I mean, just awesome. It's just this stuff is so cool. I'm in. I'm in love with it. So I, I got a humongous collection of it. Come out of my own collection. Argentina, Argentina. Look at the back of that one. Cinco pesos. We got another cinco pesos. A one hundred from Argentina. Beautiful back on it. Just beautiful specimens. Um, these are from, I'm not sure. These are a little older. Jugoslavia, some Slavia place. Yugoslavia, maybe over by Russia. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But these, these have a little bit of wear to them, but they are still beautiful specimens of foreign money. And this will be a great little start collection or add to somebody's collection they have already. And this one here is almost BU, almost mint state, and it is awesome. I love that picture on the back. Super cool. But this thing's almost perfect. So there's those. And then a whole set of these. And right on the bottom of these, right, right there, you can see it almost. Maybe you can. Will it pick it up? Right there. It says right by my thumb. Yep, you can see it right there. 24 karat gold. Okay, so... Here you go. You got the $1 bill. Old school style. This thing is amazing. Look at the back of that thing. That is so cool. There's a one. We have the five from the Bank of Vinland, the National Bank. But I think those are all in America. Look at the back of the five. It is just so cool. Wait till you see these in your hands. Hopefully you got a lucky person who gets to win these. United States National Bank of Cleveland. Look at the back of Cleveland. 50. 24 karat gold on all of them. There's the $100 bill. Look at this bad boy. All oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. National Bank of Salem. $1,000 bill. And there's the back of that. Cool. This is a long video, I know. It's the stacker box, baby. It's got to be long, because this is a lot of good stuff. Them are my additions 
to the stacker box. And all I took out was this little half ounce round. So, thank you for watching my video. Keep an eye out for that box right there. It's making its way around. It's going in a priority mailbox from my house to scrapping, hoarding, tinkering fun. He's next. And then he will add his mem stuff to it. And it'll continue from there to two more channels after him. It's going to scrapping, hoarding, tinkering fun. Then it's going to Patriot Stacker. And then it's going to our beloved Cherie Ward is the last one to pick it up. So it's going right here. It's going right there, Patriot Stacker. Then it'll finish up at her house where she sends it back to the Silverman family. Yes, and it's over. Then it's all coming. Boom, boom. Somebody, well, not somebody, peoples in this community are going to win all the stuff that's in this box. That's the cool part. Not one winner, multiple winners are coming out of all this stuff. That's awesome. That's the best thing about it. A lot of, a lot of winners. So have a great time, everybody. Please. Take care, stay safe, like I always say, make sure you go out and do something nice for someone, and keep on stacking, stacking, stacking.